Welcome Buccaneers to the Pixel Pirate program. This is your host Pixel Pirate and let's get straight into our first news item. The Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition has been moved up to November 28th. The developers cited that they want the best possible product on launch and so the second delay for the game has happened. I think that this is probably a good thing. I think it's a definitely a good sign that uh, they're they're really working hard. They're not going to push out a game that's extremely buggy and basically crap. And I think also that there is a huge amount of pressure for them to get this game right. And that if they don't get it right, there's going to be huge amounts of nerd rage all over the internet. Um, but regardless, it's going to sell. It's going to sell exceptionally well. And uh, so I don't think they have too much to worry about. But of course... They also want to make it make sure the fans are happy too, and I don't blame them. It is an excellent game, so uh, we'll, we'll hopefully we'll see it on November 28th and it won't get delayed anymore. The next cab off the rank is Raven Software. Look to be hiring for a next-gen first-person shooter. Uh, if you don't know Raven Software, they developed Star Trek games, Star Wars Jedi Knight, X-Men games, they created Soldier of Fortune, and they created uh, Wolfenstein. So they are, they pack a punch as a developer, that's for sure. Uh, I'm very excited about this because I love Soldier of Fortune 2. <laughs> I played that for about seven years uh, in multiplayer. So this should be an exciting uh, title, whatever it will be. There's no hint to what the actual game is going to be about. But uh, I can't remember the last time that Raven Software had a miss with uh, a game they haven't developed anything for a long time however they have worked on stuff for activision they are actually owned by activision they were bought by activision in 1997 so they have been developing under activision for quite some time over a decade to be precise um but they did do stuff for activision here and there they did uh, some stuff for black ops and Modern Warfare 3 in 2010 and 2011, respectively. And that was uh, some DLC. So I can't wait to hear some more news about this next-gen title uh, that they're going to develop. In other news, PlayStation 3 may finally launch in China, of all places. Six years too late, but better late than never, I guess. Uh, Sony have been granted a so-called China Compulsory Certificate where they will be allowed to develop in China, or that it's one step closer at least anyway. Uh, in China, for those that don't know, consoles are technically illegal, and it's to protect the youth. <laughs> uh, don't you, no, no idea, I mean, you know, China, it's China, come on. Uh, they, they have a cl very close society. Uh, they only just got Google, like, you know, 10 years ago, or less than 10 years ago, something like that. Uh, I think it's both a good and a bad thing. Of course, we should never try and uh, encourage the way that they run governments. But at the same time, the people of uh, China who actually live there shouldn't suffer either. So uh, whilst uh, it'll be a good addition, of course, for the Chinese, it'll probably be a closed system and it'll only be available in China. Uh, well, at least the PlayStation 3 version of, of China version, you know. Uh, so there won't be any extra multiplayer people. I don't think uh, it'll all be enclosed in China. THQ have announced that there's going to be delays for South Park, The Stick of Truth, Metro Last Light and Company of Heroes 2. This is riding on the back of the news that the, the developer has lost about 45% on their stock price and have lost 21 million uh, so far on a uh, 107 million revenue. However, the company's digital revenues rose 34% from 14.3 million to 19.1 million. So he's hoping that the developer does in fact get back on its feet, although it's not looking good at this point in time. Which is really surprising for me because they have developed some awesome games. They developed uh, Dawn of War, Dawn of War 2 of course. They developed uh, Space Marine which didn't do very well but is an excellent game. And a few other games where, yeah of course they did Metro 233 and and, uh, and Company of Heroes the original. Um, but unfortunately they're still going down the tubes so to speak. Uh, so let's hope that they get back on their feet like I said. 
and uh, produce some more excellent games. Capcom have come out and said that Resident Evil 6 has been successful, quote, to some degree. I don't know what degree that might be, because everyone says it's crap. <laughs> it only got a 67 out of 100 on, um, uh, on Metacritic, and this user score was only 4.6, which is dismal. But uh, they must be doing something right, because their profits have jumped by 355%. Uh, I, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> they're, they're constantly complained about. So, you know, each, each time they release some, some game, they do something wrong, whether it's day one DLC or really restrictive uh, content and things like that. They uh, all, are also attempting to, to release Mega Man 126 on the 3DS. So we'll see where that goes. And that is it for this week's news. Thanks everyone for listening and we will see you next week.